hi guys and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to do a pink look i'm not gonna do a glitter um i feel like i have enough glitter looks well not enough but i don't want to bore you guys with just glitter so i'm going to do a pink look i don't know how it's gonna come out i have no idea what look i want to do but i'm thinking about maybe a winged out look um i just know i want to use pink so i'm just gonna wing it and go with the flow so i'm going to you know change it up from time to time get a little bit of this get a little bit of that you know you know the vibe you know the vibe so if you want to see what i'll come up with then continue watching i ain't playing with you So I did my brows already off camera as you can see and don't worry I have a brow tutorial coming up because so many people have been asking me and I haven't done that before on my channel so I'm gonna give you guys a brow tutorial coming soon stay tuned so I'm going to be focusing on these two pal um, palettes, eyeshadow palettes. This is a blush palette, but I'm gonna use this orange. And I feel like I'm gonna use this pink or this one. And I'm going to also be using my um, 35B palette from Morphe, B for bold, because this is all bold colors. All right, so okay, I'm gonna start off with this deep pink color right here this deep pink almost like purple and i'm gonna apply it all over my lids so i'm gonna go above the crease with this color Then I'm going to take a lighter pink or maybe like this orange, this orange right here. And I'm gonna put it above that color, like directly under my brows, just to blend out that color a little bit and add some beautiful warm orange to it. See what I'm doing right there? See that? These two colors blend so beautiful together. Okay, so now to cut the crease, I'm gonna take my LA Girl Pro Concealer and uh, I wouldn't call this an angled brush, but um, it's almost like an angled brush. It's almost like an angled brush. So I'm just using it to cut my crease. So let go. And I'm gonna go above my crease because like I said, I want it to be winged out. So when I say wing, I mean, I'm gonna go over and then out. I hope that makes sense. I think I'm beginning to love <laughs> cut crease. Like every day I'm just want to do a cut crease. I want to me. No, so who trouble me? I don't know guys, I feel so good. I feel good, I feel happy, I feel festive, I feel, I just, just full up of feelings. No, sir. 
Like, I'm so ready for the new year. And I got kill on a weird video. Just wait, just wait. So this is where it gets tricky because like I said, I'm gonna wing it out. So I'm gonna try to be very careful because this has to be sharp and neat. All right, so this is this is an idea of what I wanna do, but I'm gonna go back in with a more angled brush and make sure that it's super neat and clean. So I'm gonna go in with a more angled brush, get a little bit more of concealer. Alright, so that don't look too bad, but I'm still going to try to get it as perfect as possible. And this is something that you can't rush. You have to have a steady hand and you have to be careful. Now that that's done, I'm going to go in with this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I think I'm going to go in with this pink color on top and then I'm gonna put this shimmer color this shimmer color on top and I'm just gonna use the other end of this brush a pretty it's like a pretty soft pink And then I'm gonna take my Jackie Ina palette and I'm gonna put this color, this color Wigglies over this. all right guys <laughs> so this is how we're looking so far this is what we have what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna take this purple lipstick and i'm going to use it to make my line so right above where i put that um wiggle from the jackie Ina palette i'm gonna make a line all right here goes because I mean I don't know why me nervous so but I'm just gonna try to be as neat as possible <laughs> oh god okay So I know I'm messing up a little bit inside, but I all I have to do is just put the color back. What really matters is how straight and neat and perfect that line is.
all right guys so i'm finally done with cleaning up and i'm not gonna lie this this one was challenging and i understand that because it's my first time doing it but i think i did the steps backwards so i'm gonna try again with different colors and i'm gonna get like some some liquid liners so this line will be easier to make but anyways this is how the eye is looking it took me a very long time to get it to at least decent because this is not really this is not really fleeky this is not really good but i feel like we could work with this anyways like i said i'm gonna try again so stay tuned for part two on to foundation On to concealer. So this is the finished look, you guys. I kind of like this side more, but you know, this is my good side. But what do you guys think? I am so proud of myself. I jumped out of my comfort zone and I tried something new. I tried something bold with a little twist. And to be honest, like I gotta give myself more credit. Like it looks good. My face looks good yeah so um i'm definitely gonna try it again with some other color like maybe blue or yellow and i feel like i need the right tool so one i'm gonna get some liquid liner so the line would be easier to make and then i also feel like i should have done the line first and then add the color at the bottom but nevertheless i tried something new 
I can only get better from this point on. I actually have to rush through the door, so I apologize in advance if this video feels rushed, but I'm gonna have part two for you guys, more detailed, you know, slower, more chilled. It's just that today I actually have to go, like right now I have to leave, but thank you so much for sticking to the end of the video. Thank you always for your support you know every share every like every comment trust me it adds up and we'll come back with there 2020 bigger and better is the man say don't forget to like <laughs> subscribe and share i love you guys so much Mwah. bye guys